Hey everyone, welcome to Tuesday Tips episode 34. So last week I mentioned that I was going to have a more specific cube related tip this week and that was kind of a lie. So this is the actual last week of kind of more theory tips. Next week is going to be a video about first eight edges on five, six, and seven. So that'll be very specific. You can look forward to that. But this week we're talking about kind of just an introduction to advanced weeks. So if you know the whole Tuesday Tip series, I've done beginner weeks, intermediate weeks, and expert weeks, and now we're talking like super advanced kind of big cube tips. So when you're getting when you're getting into super advanced area, there's a lot less people kind of at this level, so things are a lot less tested. They're not definitive. You don't know exactly what's the best. Like for instance, like we don't. It's hard to tell how good Yao yeah really is because there's so few people doing it. You can't really compare at the top level like. If Felix had done Yao for like eight years, would that be better? No one's done it for eight years, so it's like kind of tricky to know. Anyways, um, I, I was talking about Yao 5 also. So the kind of like disclaimer for all these tips is that they're everything I'm talking about. Either I personally just figured out myself by doing a lot of cube solving, or I've heard from someone else, which I'll try and give credit. I've either heard from someone else, been shown it, watched it, and on someone else, watch someone else do it, and then me try and adapt it, but it's not like a given, like these things, the things I'm talking about haven't been done like a million, like by like a thousand people a million times, like it's just kind of stuff I've figured out. So the kind of other baseline, so the kind of general thing I do when I'm trying to figure out new tips and tricks is that it's kind of a lot of guess and check. Uh, you see easy cases, you see how to solve easy cases, you kind of adapt those easy cases to forcing easy cases and so here's just the kind of idea I have when I like as I've developed these tips over the last eight years I'm um, pretty much all I'm not gonna go into specific tips I guess because that'd be weird but um there's a lot of easy cases when you get when you do a big cube solve you're doing seven by seven and you see a center case and at some point you'll be like wow this is here I'll actually I'll, I'll just set one up um, You'll see a case and you'll be like, wow, this is a really easy case. And then it'll be so easy that you'll just solve it directly. So let's say let's say we're um let's say we're right here. And we have this three by two here and we have this two by two here. Like normally I'd make bars if I wanted if I'm a beginner, but it's so obvious that you can do that to make your two bars that you would always do that. It's just so easy. Stuff like that, like, wow, okay, I ran into this case by pure chance. That was really easy. And then next time Maybe you see this, you have this three by two, and then, oh, I can build, very quickly, I can build the easy case I ran into last time. And then essentially, oh, I, the first time I got this, it was like two moves away, and then I recognized it, that I was like four moves away, and then you kind of start seeing patterns, you kind of figuring out how, like, oh, now this case happens a lot, or it's usually set up easier than bars, so I'm gonna use this more. And really what the whole point is like, you don't, switch to something new you add it to your repertoire of options because there's always going to be the cube is going to be set up okay not always but almost always one of the methods that you know how to solve something will be easy or at the very least one method to solve a way will be the best because of how the cube is already set up and you want to be able to switch between those options so Again, in the big tube tips, like that's kind of the way I figured it out, and to kind of add on to that is that nothing's for certain or 100% definitive. Like, just because I say that you should be doing it this way, a lot of times I'll mention that like there are other options that are just as good. But just because I say something is the right way doesn't mean I'm necessarily right. There's a lot. There's like some really stupid things that I've found over the years that I've been doing wrong. Like, if you're doing last two centers, and um, oops. Not bad. Um, wait, oh, right. Wait. Oops. Um, right, if you're doing last two centers and you have this case, for a very long time, until like last year, I would do M, U2, M prime, and then insert. But what you really can do is just do, which is way faster. So, like, even people like me who've been cubing for like almost a decade and had been at the top for years doesn't mean that you're necessarily always using the best option in every single scenario. Usually, if I'm pretty confident about something, it probably means there's a high chance it's optimal or close to optimal, but oh, it's always a good idea to think for yourself and not be blindly following things. If you 
if you personally have found something that works better for you, then go ahead and do that. Just make sure you know why it works better, so it's not just like random, um, random stuff you're doing. Anyways, uh, right. So that's kind of how I figured out another kind of well, another general idea about all these tips is that you're abusing luck in all of your solves. So essentially, in a big cube solve. There's always, especially in the bigger the cube solves, you should feel like you're getting lucky in every solve. Like when you do seven by seven edges, there's just so many pieces that the chance of edges already being matched up pretty well is like 100%. You just have to find them. So the key to all these tricks is that there are lucky cases everywhere. You just have to find the cases and abuse the luck you're getting. Like a good, a great cuber will take a bad case. Like if you can only build bars on a big cubes, sometimes your centers aren't going to be set up in a way that's good for bars. But a really good cuber will be able to see that, oh, this is a bad case for bars, but it's really lucky if you do it this other way. And so he'll abuse that luck to get a really fast time. Um, also, yeah, that's I mean, that's pretty much the main like kind of overarching thought process along all these tips. It just you're guessing I'm guessing checking to figure out like I've seen this lucky case before so I'm gonna kind of set up to this lucky case and then oh this works out then nothing's for certain always always like don't always take everything I say and like think about why I'm saying it or think oh maybe there's something better because if you in chat like if you're in chat and you're telling me that there's something better like the other day up until recently I didn't I was using this eperm or and I was doing two rotations instead of doing just F U prime F two. Like there's simple stuff that I miss all the time just because I'm saying something doesn't 100% mean it's right. Although usually the top cubers know generally what they're talking about. Um, and yeah, so next week we'll be starting with regular big cube tips. First eight edges on five six seven. Just wanted to give everyone kind of an intro for especially these weeks where. Uh, I there may be only like two or three people in the world doing these type of tricks or it's so unique like something that I like to do that I'm the only person doing it that there's a lot of different ways to be fast um, just ask Max Park who barely knows any fancy tricks on 3x3 yet is one of the best solvers in the world um, just because this is kind of my advanced tips how I've become super fast so it's definitely an option and it will definitely work if you can kind of figure it out but it's not like the only way but there's definitely gonna be a lot of cool stuff in here and I'll definitely try and mention when some of the tips are more like everyone does this that's fast versus like this is kind of a specific to me type of thing uh, so yeah see you guys next week